This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, good evening, good tomorrow, wherever you're tuning in from. Live from the car outside of, well, somewhere in Airdrie today. As we get set up to discuss, obviously, the biggest, breakingest news we've had in a little while. Finally, it has happened. Number 14 on the depth chart, I guess you could say. Number 13, actually. Actually, number 14. Uh, Raphael Lavoie has been recalled by the Edmonton Oilers from the Bakersfield Condors. Huge news in the fact that Ken Holland kept his word, right? We we have seen so much been made of that athletic article from back earlier in the uh, preseason, early start of the season, where Ken Holland said, at the end of the day, Raphael Lavoie is number 14. He has to climb up. He'll be the second or third guy in. And... Uh, yeah, Sam, it's a beautiful day, that's for sure, because Mr. Raphael Lavoie makes his pro debut tomorrow. But when it comes down to it for the Oilers, like I said, Ken Holland keeping his word. He didn't kind of mess with us saying where Raphael Lavoie belonged on the depth chart. You had number 12, you had Adam Ernie. Number 13, you had Sam Gagne. And then number 14 was Raphael Lavoie. So Adam Ernie got the first call, Sam Gagne got the second call, and you betcha, number 14 on the depth chart, Raphael Lavoie gets call number three. So it's fantastic to see. Obviously a well-earned call up two for Lavoie, who has had a fantastic start to the year. Five games in, the Bakersfield Condors are four and one. They're looking absolutely fantastic to begin. I think obviously the offense has been there. The development from our young guys have been there. And part of uh, part of it is Raphael Lavoie with something absurd like 27 shots, I think it is, is what Bob Stoffer just tweeted a minute ago. And, oh, by the way, as well, um, well, at the end of the day, too, you got the situation where uh, he's got seven points in five games. Yeah, it works out well for Raphael Lavoie, who's stepped in, had an assignment ahead of him. Go show why you are number 14 on the depth chart. And he comes up, right? Now, technically, if you're number 14 on the depth chart as a forward, you're either the first recall or you're still on the NHL roster. However, this situation dictates with a 21-man roster, you're a couple of call-ups away from getting up. And so he does get up in place of the injured Connor Brown, who we have no clue how long he'll be out for. But uh, I guess to speculate along with a couple of people that I've talked to today, won't name names. If you're in the comments chat right now, you would know who I'm talking about. Uh, when it comes down to it for Raphael Lavoie, is there's twofold. Connor Brown, if he's injured long term, Lavoie's a great solution for that. If he's not injured long term, he's still a great solution because I believe he does not need waivers until either November 8th, 9th, or 10th. So you can kind of get that little gap of games, right? Today's the third. You can get to next Friday, technically, right? Put them on uh, send down night of the 9th on Wednesday next week. And then, of course, you move on to. Um, you move on to getting Connor Brown back on Friday next week. So there's a week long gap here where Raphael Wall can play a considerable amount of NHL games to start his NHL career. That's fantastic. That's very exciting for us, I must say. And the beautiful part here is too, you don't risk losing him on waivers again. So I guess he's got four games, technically speaking, to show you what he's got. Is it four or is it three? It's either three or four. I can't remember what the math is next week. I don't think we play a back-to-back. -back. It would be Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, I think is how the schedule goes. Something like that. So we should technically have three minimum games out of Raphael Lavoie before he goes back to the minors. I think that'll happen no matter what. And then from there as well, you've got, of course, Philip Broberg in the minors. So technically, you can keep him up as long as you keep Broberg down in the minors. Broberg, in case you missed that, has had a start to the year not what we needed not a good start for philly but you know what he'll go down to the minors work on some things get a little improvement he'll be a backup at some point of the uh season but uh, it's a tough go for philip broberg who had high expectations on him coming into this year has not delivered obviously we watched a big gaff against dallas last night on his part and unfortunately as jay woodcroft said you make mistakes you're going to pay the price now adam ernie did that uh, paying the price for lack of production for the entire bottom six and now philip broberg paying the price for lackadaisical lack of effort lack of care to your game of course he's the most expendable defenseman being waiver eligible he goes down to the minors and that allows us to recall 
of course, Raphael Lavoie, who will, to answer everybody's questions in the comments, make his NHL debut tomorrow, 1 p.m. against the Nashville Predators. It's a game that I wasn't planning on streaming, but I believe I'm going to have to make an effort to stream that. I, I don't know how I'm going to make that all work out quite well, but uh, I got a little something, something I got to go attend uh, at about noon tomorrow, but we will make it happen at some point, probably... Uh, live stream the second and third period i'm not sure we'll we'll have to figure that out but again friends um yeah no huge huge news here for um uh for the edmonton oilers it's great to see the oilers making good on their word and secondarily as well rafael lavoie getting rewarded for what has been a great start to his 2023 2024 campaign it's been a big tough start for the oilers but Raphael is obviously doing as best he can to make it a little bit better for us. And hopefully he comes in flying as he has in a Condors uniform this year. And it all works out. Now, the bigger question here is how long does he stay up? Like I said, I touched on it. Most likely guaranteed until next Thursday. However, does he earn something longer term that kind of keeps Philip Broberg down? Or who knows, right? I, I don't know if you keep Philip Broberg down, you make a trade because of it. There's a ton of things that could happen here. And for the Oilers, it's actually stunning that we're going to operate with just six defensemen on the roster for the time being. And I think that kind of makes for a focal point. Somebody has to be traded somewhere. But at the same rate, are you going to trade a guy like Cody Cece for a couple million dollars in cap space to allow you to recall Philip Robert and possibly add another D-man to the roster? I, I don't see how that you're going to upgrade in that situation. Albeit how many of you don't like Cody Cece, I guess maybe end of the day as you get rid of the cap hit, you're upgrading no matter what, even if you reinsert Philip Broberg in his place. I, again, it's it's going to be an interesting kind of next few months. I think the race to Christmas is going to be a really interesting watch. But as well, what the Oilers do here in the next little bit with O'Connor Brown in the lineup, and then what we do in the next month here until the end of November is of course going to be very interesting. But the best news is we do get to at least experiment with Raphael Lavoie kind of carefree for the next week. And then from there, we get to go. And I think today, I, I haven't had a chance to check the lines from practice. I was on a call earlier today with Patrick from the Oilers Fanatic, just basically trying to hash out how this would all work if we recalled Lavoie. Obviously, no clue that Lavoie was coming up until he came up. But... Uh, <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, he does, and uh, now it complicates matters because whatever you saw for lines at practice this morning won't necessarily hold true, although I did hear from Patrick that Sam Gagne is on that second line at practice today, so whether he's a placeholder in place of a guy like Raphael Lavoie taking that job, or if Sam Gagne did earn that job, now that Connor Brown's out of the lineup and, of course, dragging the bottom six to the goal-scoring promised land for the first time in nine games this year, I guess, counted it as you would. Friends, I'm Tyson. This stall on the TV. There's way too much to discuss. I would rather not do it all in my car tonight. i got bigger plans for my evening than that. And, of course, we can catch up when I get home later tonight if there's anything more pressing. But, of course, it is Raphael Lavoie recalled, and it is Philip Roberg sent down. Now I'm going to take a quick scroll through the chat here, friends. Uh, Toff, welcome in. Uh, Peter, hopefully we never see shirtless Tyson on stream ever again. Uh, that said, I've choked on my water three times this year, so let's see what happens. Um, I think I answered that, Matt, and uh, we did not touch on Matthias Janmark. We will have to touch on Matthias Janmark when he gets back healthy, um, just as it is, because obviously um, he's going to be a big question mark, I think. And um, yeah, that's where we're going to be at right now. Apologies for that. Uh, vibration there on the phone i still haven't learned how to mute notifications while streaming friends i'm tyson doll on the tv up on oh hold on hold on that just pinned a message what is going on here let me get back to the chat uh epiphany um you, okay in response to Raphael lavoie possibly playing on the second line i would say uh again Raphael lavoie is different than an 18 year old rookie and also he's got a lot of size so you put him up there with kane and nugent hopkins i'd like that combo not necessarily saying they would do that and i think it is sam Gagne who's earned that job currently so hopefully that all pans out but friends i'm trying to exit here i gotta go back to work by the way so uh I got to get over to the uh, old coffee spot uh, parking lot here and get back to work. So give me a little bit here and we'll talk a little later tonight. I'm up on, gone.